In this video, we're gonna be installing king bearings in our manly stroker rods. All right, here's our manly connecting rods, part number 14044R-8. And these were ordered balanced. Okay, so after taking the rods out of the package, you can see that they're marked. They have the weight in grams here on the big end and the little end. Uh, it comes with the, the, the weight as well, serial numbers, order date, uh, a couple of a couple of stickers and um, bolt stretch information. We'll get into this later. Now I'm going to go through and separate the caps. Uh, there's a couple of different ways of doing this. I use this rod vise. This rod vise you'll see comes in really handy uh, when when dealing with connecting rods. Uh, the way I do it is I put this in. Clamp it down. Now I'm going to break the bolts loose. I'm going to slide these out just a little bit. And now I'm going to put the cap in the vise. Uh, make sure that the, the split between it is outside of the vise. And just gently pull back and up and wiggle it up and down at the same time. Now it's split. Okay, now I'm going to prepare the rod bearings. Uh, these are King Racing uh, HP series, part number CR803HPN. I'm just going to pull them out and wipe them down with my Kimtech towel. Okay, so of note with these bearings, you're going to have an upper and you're going to have a lower. And somewhere on there, like for these, it has a, a U uh, for the upper at the end of the part number and an L at the end of the part number. So there is an upper and a lower. And when you put those in there, uh, you want to make sure that the upper goes in the upper portion of the rod and the lower goes down in the lower portion of the rod. I also like to keep them in order, so uh, this, like I'll use this upper with this lower and so on all the way down the line. Okay, so I'm going to start with the upper. All I do is put the tang in the spot and then just kind of press in and make sure it's in there evenly. You do the same for the lower. And I'll do that down the line for all of them. Okay, now I'm going to go through and make sure I got the, the serial numbers on both sides. Make sure I didn't mix that up. Make sure we got tang to tang over here. And I'm going to go ahead and snug up the, the bolts on all these. Now we have our rod bearings installed in all of our manly rods. Uh, next up, we'll be taking some measurements and uh, talking about bolt stretch on these, how to get the most out of these ARP bolts.